Mrs. Smart. I work at one of the Apple retail store. I don't care if I'm, I'm gonna get only two views for this video, and so I don't give a damn about it. But I really wanted to do this video. For the last two weeks, I've been, I've been thinking about making this video. I make it like three views. The thing is, I do repair too. I'm a technician, I'm a mechanic. So, um, when people ask me, like for instance, when I tell people, like, hey, your, your logic board or the motherboard is uh, completely broken. I mean, partially broken or like um, severely broken, uh, totally broken, broken altogether, broken completely. And we have to change for a new one. We expect the result within like four days, or I can promise about a time frame for its completion. And people always ask me about the probable cause. What do you say, Mark? My motherboard just broken? How come? How could this happen to me? I'm a good father. I'm a good husband. The thing is, so you know, I like. I go to church every Sunday. How come? How could this happen to me? Why is it broken? I need the cause. Tell me about the probable cause. <laughs> Firstly, I, I give usually gives people like um, the side headlocks. I do like suplex. Sorry, I was kidding. <laughs> the thing is, um, there is one common denominator for most courses uh, for the broken parts that I've experienced for the last 10 years. One of the uh, most resounding the most resounding oversight for all kinds of problems. After I have successfully diagnosed and I found something that when you ask people when was the last time you really turned off your Mac? When was the last time you really shut off your Mac properly or completely? I'm not, I'm not talking about just um, closing the lid and just leave it in sleep mode. I mean, turn off. Most people say things like, well, I, I don't remember, so I just um, shut the display. Apple doesn't call it display, they call it a lid. And you shut your lid, and you hook it up to the monitors, they call it close clamshell mode, right? No, close, clam close clamshell mode. <laughs> Today, I'm going to give you a very simple technique to prolong your max lifespan. You're going to have to turn off your Mac at least once a day. Seriously. You're going to have to turn off. I got, sorry, I got fever today. And I have like cancer or something. Because, uh, I don't know, I might be dead pretty soon. But uh, my job is to prolong, to save lives. You're going to have to turn off your Mac at least once a day, probably before you go to bed on a regular basis or something. And um, do I look like a piece of shit or a piece of trash or a drunk motherfucker or something? My mother told me this, like uh, probably this evening, I think, well, Mark, trying to like relax or do what look like natural. I didn't, I mean, I did take it for granted, take her advice for granted at first, and I took it seriously. It was a couple minutes ago, and I. Do you remember when you, when you were like kids, and when your your dad told you that, well, why don't you turn off your your television just for a short period of time because you're gonna have to give it some rest. Your Mac is um is merely an electrical. 
appliance. Made in this world on Earth, on this planet, by human. So it's, it's kind of like um, oven or television or air conditioning. Your Mac is pretty much the same. So most people never turn their Macs off. Especially um, desktop Macs like iMacs or Mac Pro. You turn them on. They always like left that Mac turn on for like 24 hours. When they were away, they left that Mac downloading something like BitTorrent files or something. You can have to turn off your Mac regularly, like on a regular basis. Because your Mac is made on Earth, on this world. I mean, in this world, by human. So it makes no difference compared to others' electrical appliances. Your Mac is made by extraterrestrial intelligence, <laughs> like um, a person like drops from the sky from outer space, like UFO drop your Mac or something. So, so it's kind of like it's very simple, kind of intuitive. You're gonna have to turn off your Mac, at least. Well, I heard people brag about their Mac. I've never turned off my Mac for the last three years. And nothing happened. Um, I said, they like, oh, you may be right for I know. But, but, so that's it. I'm not going to talk about the overing temperature. You might have uh, inadvertently come across a um, story about the um, overing temperature of Mac. Should, temperature should not exceed like 35 Celsius degree. Most Macs um, on the market use the um, SSD or so-called solid state or hybrid drive or PCES, PCE based flash storage. So no matter what kind of metaphor they're gonna to use to call your internal storage inside your Mac, but you're gonna to have to be aware of one thing that those um, SSDs are more susceptible to power storage. For me personally, I prefer the um, old fashioned rotational conventional drives, traditional regular drive. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I want to go deeper it's about uh, the thing you already heard, like um, try not to leave your Mac in your car has been part of a direct sun lights, which you might inadvertently ruin your batteries or something. Or, um, well, if it's under warranty or something. But uh, for the last, this is what I learned after 10 years. Um, practicing Mac technique so turn off your Mac in the past there were some altercations like controversy a misconception that well that's fine and just uh, because well for Mac sleeping is like hibernating on Windows PC blah 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 your Mac is merely a poor electrical appliance so Give me some rest. Turn it off once a day. Trust me, and you can prolong your max lifespan up to two times. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Mark. I work at one of the Apple retail store, and uh, many complain about my my audio quality for my video. So today, I've taken massive actions to enhance my audio quality. It's all I can afford. So let's get started.